Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add effects and builds in and animations and build outs to specific items in your presentation. The transition is for transitions between slides. Your animations and your effects and other builds are actually for the images themselves. So let's click on slide three here and let's add an animation to this guy. So you, there's two different ways to do it. One, you can actually click on the image and when the little toolbar pops up, you can click animate or you can click on the wrench tool and transitions and builds that way. So since I've got this thing selected, see how it's got the yellow dots around it and then it's got the build in and build out. Battery's about to die, but that's okay. Now you can click on build in and so it gives you a couple different options. So click on comment, play it. Came in nice and fast. Let's try confetti. And then you got a couple different things. So you click on options and you can click on the duration. So let's try that again. So then it's going to use a full 1.75 seconds to actually build in there. Now gravity, let's see how that works. So now I see how it came in from the bottom there. And then you could, once again, you could change it from after the transition. So as soon as the transition were to happen, so a transition means it's going from one slide to the next. As soon as that slides over, you can change it. So when that is going to build in. So you don't have to sit there and click, keep tapping on the screen to make sure those animations pop in. So you can actually wait a delay, um, a second delay. So after the transition happens, it's going to wait one second. And then that, that animation for the build in for this image is going to pop in. And then order, so I'll show you how with how the order works, but since right now we only have one image on here, that's all it's going to show you. So let's go and click off of that. Let's click on this again, and let's do a build out, and let's do blinds. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that shows you how to do that. So now, see how it's got the one and the two? One is just showing you that's your build in, and your build out is the blinds. So once again, you can go back in here, and you can adjust which way they, the, the blinds are folding. So it's folding down. And then once again, you can change the delay or after the previous build. So let's do it as two, or let's do a second. Let's do two full seconds. So now when you play it, it's going to sparkle in. And now it's going to wait two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Blinds come in. And now you can click on, or not ordered, not quite yet, but it's just going to show you how those work. And now I'll show you how it works with an order. So now let's build this guy in, click on effects, let's do an anvil, let's see how that works. So he drops right in, and then let's go ahead and change the options, oh, that's fine, let's do, yeah, let's do two seconds. And you could either do with the previous build or after the previous build. So with previous build, watch, it's going to animate these both at the same time. See how it did that? Where it started doing it with the previous build. So if you're not sure what the previous build is, that's where you click on order. So it's got one, two, three. So yellow's gonna be meaning it's building in. The gray two on in this case is going to be a building out. So if you're looking at those images, okay, that's one and two. So you can click on two and go back to options. And then you could do right after so that's doing it after the previous build. Let's go back to order and click on this one. And let's go, let's actually move this guy to here. So now these guys are going to happen at the same time. So, and since the, the reason that got the little cart guy came in first is because of how long I had that build going in there. So if you were to do that, and you could do it right, oh, well, that's two seconds, but we're going to do right with the previous build. So let's go back to order and let's mess with this guy, number one, and go to options and click on, let's not have a delay at all. And how long was that options for that 1.75? Let's go on this one. Let's do make sure they both take the same amount of time. So they're both at 1.75. So now let's play it. Boom. And then that one transitions out because it was I, I've got it set up. So it automatically does it after the previous build. It waits two seconds and does the next one. And so you can do this. You can have a million different animations per slide depending on how much stuff you in there have you have in there so let's go ahead and show you how to do it with a text box or how it works with text so let's go ahead and do this here double tap it this is sample text to animate 
and they're going to give you a little bit different options in terms of how that's going to build in. So you can, once again, you could click and double tap it to animate it, or not double tap, but tap it once, and then it'll bring up that. Or you can click on the wrench tool to animate it. So you can build this in, and for the most part, it gives you the same exact things, but it just kind of looks different in terms of how it works on your text. So let's play that. Boom, cool fire. And then you, once again, you could change the order of it so it come, it's gonna build in right at the same time as the other guys. So now you could click play. And it's gonna show you how all that works. So that's basically it for adding animations and effects to specific items in, on, in and on a specific slide. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you email us. And uh, oh, one last little thing is see how before uh, for an animation, for a transition, it's got the little yellow box or yellow triangle right in the bottom right corner. Animations means it's got the little three white dots. So as you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five slides. So slide two, three, four, six, and seven all have animations on those specific slides. So once again, if you guys have any questions or need more information, click, em email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com, and click the Help tab. Thank you.